power outage a couple of weeks ago and immediately started thinking about the tank when the power went out and realized I didn't have any backup emergency measures to keep things going in the tank. So I went to the local fish store and bought a battery operated air pump with an air stone, came home, dropped the air stone into the tank, and within five to ten minutes after doing that, the power came back on. But I started thinking, what if I had a prolonged power outage, say one hour, two hours, longer? Am I really okay just by having a D-cell battery operated air pump to put oxygen in the tank? And I started thinking about the canister filter and started doing some research. And, you know, 15 to 20 minutes after your canister filter is no longer running, you're no longer bringing oxygen into that canister filter. Well, the nitrifying bacteria is aerobic and it needs the oxygen in order to live. So 15 to 20 minutes after no power to your canister filter, you now have a canister filter that has a dying off nitrifying bacteria colony. And as it dies off, it's starting to produce ammonia. And, uh, you know, when you clean your filter and you see that light brownish colored film, uh, that biofilm is just filled with that nitrifying bacteria that's doing the lifeline work of keeping your fish alive, all of that bacteria starts turning into toxic sludge that's producing ammonia. So, you know, you've, number one, make sure you unplug your canister filter if your power goes out because uh, you don't want that canister filter that is now filled with ammonia and a toxic rotten egg kind of a stench from that gas and all that nasty toxic sludge to get pumped back into your tank because now that's going to harm all your fish. Uh, you have to think about things like, where am I going to put the fish? Am I going to put them in a bathtub with a heater and an air stone? Um, how long will it take to recycle my tank? Because, well, I should say the filter, because if you have a heavily planted tank, there's going to be plenty of nitrifying bacteria colonized in your tank as well. But, uh, you know, with the filter being the main lifeline, having to start over on that cycle process for your canister filter is kind of a big deal, especially if you're supporting a large quantity of fish or a lot of expensive fish like discus. So I got to thinking and I went and got a uh, APC UPS uninterrupted power supply backup battery. And um, the idea is I will only plug the FX6 into this battery and so when the power goes out this battery can keep the FX6 running for between two and a half to three hours. So, um, you know, most power outages are under that amount of time in my experience. So it's better than nothing. You know, one of the things you got to take into consideration for choosing a battery backup power supply for your aquarium or for your filter is how is it going to fit under the tank? How much run time will it support my filter for based on my filter's wattage? Make sure it's a sine wave power output. So make sure it's pure sine wave, pure sine wave, pure sine wave. Um, that's going to cost a little bit more than the regular, you know, APC UPSs that are for computers and workstations and other types of things like that. Um, the the pump in the Fluval FX6 and a lot of other aquatic equipment actually requires a sine wave output from its power supply. So don't just go out and buy some cyber power or APC battery and hook it up to your filter thinking it's going to work because if it's not pure sine, wave. pure sine wave, pure sine wave, it's not going to work. I learned this the hard way and uh, so this is my second uh, UPS. Fortunately Amazon refunded the previous one I bought that was not sine wave. So anyways, um, I just figure that buying the backup battery power supply is totally worth it compared to the costs associated with losing your fish, having to recycle a new filter and reload it with new media, um, potentially losing everything in your tank if you're out of town when you have a power outage and then the power kicks back on and pumps a bunch of sludge into your tank. So anyway, um, and ammonia and other things. So. I'll just go ahead and demonstrate how this is going to work now for you, and so let's get started with that. First of 
all, before I demonstrate how this thing works, I just want to kind of show you how this thing fits under a cabinet, a typical cabinet for a 120 gallon tank. So as you can see on the bottom right hand side, it fits nicely. I can push it back and against the uh, wall, you know, nice and out of the way. And you know, that'll typically be how it looks when it's uh, set up. I may raise it up on a brick or something. But the other thing I wanted to point out was, um, you know, you have all your maintenance stuff happening around the filter with the disconnection of the aqua stop valves and you have uh, all that kind of stuff happening on the left side of the tank over here. So I kind of wanted to put the uh, UPS battery back up out of the way on the bottom right hand side so that when I am doing maintenance on the tank, I don't have any chances of, uh, or far less of a chance of getting, uh, you know, drops of water or even larger quantities into the backup battery appliance. Okay, so here we're looking at the uh, APC UPS and I'm going to hit the display menu button to show that it is showing a uh, small load over what it's fully capable of as far as what the FX6 is pulling from it. You can tell it's fully charged and it's estimating that it has 179 minutes of runtime. So other things you can see with the menu is you can see what the load is. Interestingly, uh, the FX6 is rated at 43 watts and currently what's being pulled is 37 watts. And that's 4% of the load that this UPS is capable of supporting. And of course you've got your 120 volts and your 60 hertz things like that um, but I think the most important and most useful is this display especially if it starts beeping at you because the power went out you can come in here and see how many minutes are left of runtime before you have to start coming up with a plan B so now I'm just going to demonstrate uh, by unplugging the power supply for this UPS that the FX6 is currently plugged into and you'll know that the power is out uh, when you hear it beep. So here goes one, two, three. So now I'm on backup power. Uh, the FX6 is not plugged into the wall, but it's still running. So it looks like I have 161 minutes and reducing. Let's go ahead and let this thing adjust for a minute and see how long it thinks it's gonna be able to run. Looks like it's kind of going down, down, down very quickly. It looks like we're slowing down. So about 144 minutes of runtime uh, if the power goes out. Now, if I don't want to keep hearing that beep sound, I can hit the mute button here. And that should mute the alarm. And now it'll uh, stop beeping at me, but at least it let me know that the power was out and that it is now running on backup power. So anyway, very simple, very straightforward. I'll go ahead and plug the unit back into the wall. And it's charging back up and, you know, slowly the uh, number of minutes of runtime will probably go back up to its... Uh, fake number of 170 something minutes but anyway 142 minutes is a pretty good power outage to be able to survive without having any negative impact to the health of the uh, nitrifying bacteria inside of your canister filter and of course if you have a smaller filter than an FX6 you might get much longer run times out of a battery like this all right, I hope this information was useful for you. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to end up saving me someday. I don't know if it's this year, next year, or what, but I just feel a lot more at ease about not having to come up with some kind of crazy emergency plan if I have a two-hour power outage. And uh, just to know everything is going to keep going, if I go on a vacation, power goes out and comes back on, I will be okay. And so will my fish. So anyways, Discus are coming in a couple of days, so I've got a video of unboxing and acclimating the Cobalt Blue Discus, and I will be adding those to the tank this coming week, and I'm excited about posting that, and, um, you know, thanks everybody, and we'll see you next time.